Hello and welcome to a new haul video. Today I've got quite a large exciting haul of watercolour supplies. So it's all watercolour themed. I've got loose paints, I've got paint sets, watercolour paper, brushes, some beautiful porcelain watercolour palettes and also some art books so i'm just starting off with this package here that's from jackson's so i've got a couple of orders from jackson's some of the stuff's from amazon some stuff's from china it's just from all different places but i'll put links underneath in the description to everything so you know where to get it if you want to buy any of the stuff you sell okay so this first box is a jackson's order and everything's really well wrapped as you can see this first item just had layers and layers of bubble wrap then it was in a box inside and it's a beautiful porcelain palette so it did need to be well wrapped i don't actually need any more porcelain palettes but i just absolutely love them when i see a, a different one that i don't have um i just really love them so i've built up quite a large collection uh, um, the next item is uh, um, a color mixing guide i think it's really for acrylic and oil paints but it might work f for watercolors it's got little squares cut out on each color just so you can isolate the color that you're trying to match um, and no other surrounding colours is going to interfere. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of colours and tones in this. And I'm trying to match the lighter colour on the desk here. And I do actually manage to find something quite close. The next item is this absolutely beautiful brush by Da Vinci. It's a mop brush, um, but it's a synthetic. It's not made from animal hair. So synthetic brushes aren't usually able to hold a lot of water but this one is it's absolutely such a beautiful brush to paint with and so it holds a lot of water but it's only quite small because it's only a size two so it's not going to absolutely flood your whole page with water um you, you do have some control over it and i absolutely love it and i'm going to get some other sizes as well at some point i also got some of these brand new granulation paints from schminke so these are i think it's called super granulate and something like that and they're absolutely stunning paints they're beautiful and there's quite a few sets that they brought out i think they brought out five and they're really cute in little wooden boxes and i think there's five in each set but they were just going to be really expensive to buy all of them i would have loved all the sets but i just picked a few colors i picked eight in total and they're absolutely gorgeous and i might add to the collection and get more in the future so i'm just swatching them out with the new brush so you can see how that works it's absolutely brilliant holds loads of water um so this first one is from the forest set i got three from the forest set and this is the forest blue which is absolutely gorgeous i put plenty of water on there just to let the granulation settle even more uh this next one is forest brown i think I think I've got these right. It was quite a, a while ago I swatched them out. It looks very green, but it's called Forest Brown. And the third one is Forest Grey, which is absolutely gorgeous, really dark, muted green. And this is a closer look of how beautiful the granulation is. And some of them are two different colours as well. Like the it's They've obviously made the paints with two different colours, so the colours separate um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And then next is the Glazier ones. Now I've got three of those. 
This first one is Glacier Turquoise. It's more on the blue side, really. And this one's more of a solid colour, but the granulation's beautiful. The next one, the Glacier Green, is absolutely beautiful. And you can see, when you see it separating, it's got like some kind of reddy purple colour and like a turquoise -y. oh it's just absolutely divine and then the third one is the glacier brown again absolutely gorgeous granulation and two slightly different colors you can see there on the close-up like a light orangey brown and then a duller muted dark brown you can see it's separating and then the last two are from the deep sea set so this first one is so the first one is deep sea indigo which is a, it's a little bit weak um there's nothing really special about the color but of course it's got beautiful granulation and then the second one is deep sea green now that's really lovely and that's a close-up i think the first one looks like it's got a little bit of a pinky effect in it as well and this one looks like it's two different kind of blues yeah so that's those paints are absolutely divine i love them so this is what they look like when they're dried out and you can see the granulation is even stronger and it's just absolutely gorgeous so the first one was the deep sea indigo and this one's the deep sea green then these are the forest colors dried out the first one is forest blue another gorgeous color and you can see there's two different colors in there then there's the forest brown which is really green it looks like it's kind of like a sap green and, and maybe a darker green as well and then the third one is the forest grey which is really a real olivey browny kind of colour the dark granulation bits actually look like really dark blue so it kind of looks like a blue mixed with a brown like a a really orangey warm brown for that one and then this is the glacier colors glacier turquoise then glacier green which is amazing and then the glacier brown and you can create some really interesting textures with this the color really does separate you can see how there's a really dark brown there and then the light kind of rusty orange brown that kind of forms at the edges of the water bloom so also from jackson's i got some paper watercolor paper so first of all i got some of the loose sheets of bockingford but this is a thicker bockingford so i do really like uh Bockingford watercolour paper uh, that's a non-cotton paper um, it's so nice and it's got such a beautiful texture and I think it's really high quality so I decided to try a thicker one which is I think it's £250 so it's almost twice as th I think it is I'm not quite sure I haven't got my I would have to look it up but it's much thicker than the £140 yeah, so that's that. I bought, I can't remember how many sheets. I bought a few sheets and then I got them to cut them up. So they're, so they've cut them down to the, um, I think it's a quarter imperial size. Then I've got the, the Jackson's own, this is their own brand watercolour block, um, 12 by 16. Yeah, I've got that to try out. This is a cold pressed. 300 GSM which is 140 pound and it's quite large it's 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters so I'm gonna because it's a block and it's sealed on all the four sides I'm gonna use that for if I'm wanting to paint anything like quite large in the, in that size so that's that one 
Then I also got all these little tiny pads. So I did already have some, but I decided to get some more um, and, and in more, more different ones. I had a few in the Stonehenge ones already. There's absolutely loads of different Stonehenge ones. So I've got another one of each. And I also got the Jackson's like mini watercolour blocks. They've done a little cactus paint on that one. So these are just four, three by four inch. Um, I'm in the middle of a little pin on that one, which I haven't finished. And I was just m messing around with just doodling on this one, just to see what the surfaces were like. So I got one in rough texture, which I mean, it isn't super rough. It's kind of, I mean, it's some cold presser kind of like that. Um, so I got the rough the cold press and the hot pressed and then in these little um, Stonehenge ones I don't think they're all, I haven't had a good look at these ones yet I don't think they're all watercolour papers so this is Stonehenge white and it's a cotton paper but I think it's a mixed media yeah sounds like that's a mixed media I also got the black one so this is aqua cold press, this is watercolour paper and I used that to test out some of the uh, Moon Glow Jelly Roll pens these three are watercolours so there's the cold press, hot press and cold press heavy so that must be yeah it looks like that's a really thick one yeah so that one's a really thick card it doesn't actually say it does oh it's 300 pound yeah yeah it, believe it or not there's only five sheets in that because that's how thick it is yeah 300 pound and then these ones stonehenge colors five neutral colors oh they, so these ones are colored papers natural fawn cream pale grey and warm white and it says the surface is perfect for all drawing techniques so this is stonehenge colours that's like a warm grey that must be the beige I don't know which is which one of them's fawn one of them's cream and uh, one of them's pale grey and one of them's warm white yeah so that's colours Oh, and this one is just a book of the warm white. So these are just drawing papers. So I wonder if these are probably good for coloured pencils. This is a smooth, supple surface. It has a traditional feel with the ability to apply multiple layers of colour. Okay, and then this one is Lennox Cotton. Designed to withstand both delicate and bold impressions. This sturdy substrate was our first 100% cotton paper to be produced by an American mill with a soft textured finish. It's an ideal surface for graphite, pastel, colour pencil and charcoal. Ah, oh, right. So I'll have, a, I'll have to experiment with these. Uh, then I've got loads of different sample watercolour papers. This this is new some new um, premium sketchbooks and the mixed media and the, it looks like they've got different they're all different types um, I wonder what the difference is in them oh so there's alpha which is heavyweight you can see at the bottom they've all got different names there's alpha beta gamma delta epsilon and zeta and they're all like all, all different types. Some of them are for watercolour, some of them are just for light wash, some are for pen and ink. So they're all for different whatever you're, um, it is you're wanting to do. There's all this different range of papers and this is the samples of them. That's interesting. Oh yeah, so we've got the alpha so it says at the bottom that's the Alpha series, the Beta, 
and you can feel like different thicknesses in the paper that one's a lot thicker and then the gamma oh it's actually different colored as well that's more of a yellow paper and then, oh that looks like a super smooth surface and that's in two different there's the thin one and then the thicker one oh and then this one nova that's like a cream color a gray one and a black one that's those uh, after trying some of them I might get some of these sketchbooks and then I've got a pack of Saunders Waterford watercolour paper the Bockingford and Milford Hanson Heritage so we've got a hot press, a rough and a, and a cold press in that one the Hanson Heritage like these ones that don't even tell you what they are how are you supposed to know what that is? that's ridiculous it isn't labelled so that one's like a really thick one well that's Hanson Heritage £300 Oh, I'm really cannot wait to try one of these thicker papers. I've never tried watercolour paper as thick as that before because it's so expensive. So I don't know what that one is. Yeah, so there's a, a cold press and a hot press in that and they're both really thick, £300. And then there's two here. Looks like a cold press and a hot press. But it doesn't say what they are so I'll just have to have a look at my order and see what I whatever's left over that's what it must be and then I also got this watercolour notebook see why of writing travel journal I do have a sketch sketch book by this company that's such a lovely high quality cover really really nice We've got a nice watercolour paper with curved corners and a ribbon bookmark. So it's cold press, 60 pages. Yep, yeah, so that's that one. I also got this watercolour set. It's by Paul Rubens and it's the phosphorant set. So these have got a lovely little bit of glitter in them. So it's a 24 set, good selection of colours and they're all shimmery but they're not like shimmery mica colours, it's like they've got glitter mixed in them um, but it's just, it's very very subtle but it's really really nice. Um, so it comes with this beautiful Paul Rubens cloth, like a, a dusting cloth and this is the case that they come in. It's so nice I absolutely love it I don't I think I actually love the case more than the paints and it also came with a color chart for you to swatch your colors on um, and a pamphlet with all the colors in the range available and there's also two mixing palettes with this tray a flat one and four large wells so I'm just swatching them out and you can slightly see some of the glitter but it looks a lot better once the paint's completely dry which I'll show you in a second. Um, the paints themselves were I think they're just student grade they didn't seem like high quality to me so you know I think they're more of a novelty paint really and they're just so pretty they would they would do for a beautiful gift because it, it, the, just the whole package is just beautiful um, and the paints are really pretty um, some of them were a bit weak and they seemed a little bit um, sedimenty as though they had a filler in them um, but as you can see here this is the glitter effect in them and it's really really lovely but very subtle the dark it shows up better in the darker colors so like the dark purple and the black it shows up really well and it's so nice it's like a real galaxy effect with the black color 
So I also got this little Paul Rubens watercolour set. It's really, really pretty. I've already swatched these ones out. So it came in this little bag and it's just so lovely. Upside down. That is the top. It's just got all these little like tiny little beads. So nice. And then this the set is like gold. The sides are gold. And I got this one off AliExpress. And it's got 24 lovely colours. Um, I swatched them out. Um, they're okay. Some of the colours are a little bit weak. And also I noticed these earth colours the, the wrong way around. So this one says umber. And this one says burnt sienna. And this one says burned brown. Now, if we look at the colours closely, this is clearly the burnt sienna. This one says umber, but it's actually burnt sienna. And I think that's the umber. And then this one says burnt brown. But with that one being a little bit more orangey, I think that is the burnt brown. So apart from that, and these colours are a bit weak as well. They're not very strong. It's a really pretty set, I do love it. And I just cannot resist nice little sets and I, I don't think it was very expensive. So it was $34, so it works out at like £24. And that was AliExpress. So it's not too bad for a really nice set. I mean, it would be a nice gift. And then I also got, I've got this, which is just arrived. This is, white night set and this is the pastels there isn't a swatch card with them so i'm just going to swatch them on some watercolor paper so this isn't being swatched out and look how opaque they are they're just so smooth the colors are gorgeous they're much more like a gouache really um, I don't know why they call them watercolour, but I suppose gouache is just an opaque watercolour. And maybe they're not quite as opaque as gouache, but they're just beautiful. Look at how smooth the colour is. So I've actually just bought another pastel set, the new Derwin pastel set. So I've got this one by White Knights, the new Derwin one, which I haven't opened yet because it's just because it's just arrived in the post and I don't want to add it into this video because there's already a lot of stuff in this video. And then I also, for Christmas, I got a pastel watercolour set, the watercolour confections one. So it would be interesting to compare all three um, and I might make a video about that at some point in the future and just compare the colours and compare the consistency um, and see what they're like, see what the differences are. Okay, so a few more things to show. I've got these paint brushes. These two are from Rosemary and Co. And they're actually eradicator brushes. So these are for lifting out paint. So they're, they're quite sturdy. And I've got two sizes. So there's actually three sizes available. So I got the medium and the small. So there's a much larger one as well. So that's those. And I also got this Escoda Versatile number six. It's a flat, but it kind of tapers at the end. So that's that one. I actually got a larger size in this as well, but I can't find it. <laughs> Don't know where it is. And I've got a few more porcelain palettes. I'll show you this one first. So this one is wooden and this is from Etsy. Um, I think they're handmade. This is from an Etsy seller and it's called Go Draw. And there's quite a few different ones to pick from. So it's a little wooden box. 
there's a little cavity here so that you can easily open it and it's magnetic there's little magnets on the corners there so this is the little porcelain mixon palette and this side is where you can put little minute drops of paint so it'd be an excellent little travel palette and they've got loads of different varieties some of them have got more of these little wells and some of them have got less and and they're different sizes as well but see how that that just that's magnetic as well there's magnets on the sides and it just sticks together like this so that that would be excellent for a little travel palette i'm gonna do some painting in my car i'm gonna go out and about and do some car painting at some point so i think this will be excellent for that yeah so it's an etsy seller and i'll put a link underneath if anybody wants to go and look at them i also got this so these are these are stacking watercolor mix and palettes i do have the plain ones but these ones are really fancy because they've obviously got a pattern on them so those are five little mix and palettes with a pretty little lid so that's that one i got that one on amazon i also got these cute little mix and palettes the little flower ones but they're the little small flower ones they're just small enough to fit on your hand really easy for holding on to you can get it right close up to your painting and they're just really handy so i got two of them and then these ones i got off etsy as well so these are handmade now i have had these for maybe about a year or so but i don't think i've actually included them in a whole video yet so they come in these lovely little canvas bags and they're just really fancy like they're really really delicate just like made from fine porcelain they're so lovely so i've got this little house design this is a beautiful leaf design and this one is a different leaf design they've got quite a few different designs to choose from so i got those three and lastly i've got some watercolor books as well so the first one is mastering the art of watercolor and it's quite a thick book so like most books it starts off with all the basic paint equipment and it gives you basic information on watercolour paints, paper, brushes, pens and pencils, just all the equipment that you would need and then it goes more into technique and it, it teaches you all the basics of the basic watercolour techniques so mark making with the brushes washes are basics such as tone color and then it's the watercolor techniques so you've got wetting to wet splattering masking with masking fluid and masking tape all the basic watercolor techniques there's even a little section on watercolor pencils you know it's a really dense book with a lot of information line and wash sponging dry brush additives and then there's kind of a little step-by-step -step tutorials to practice these techniques they all have a little tutorials a little bit on composition and perspective and scale so the first section of the book is teaching you lots of different techniques and art fundamentals and then the rest of the book which is more than half is watercolour projects to follow so I'll just give a quick flick through that one so they're going to be a lot of fun I love doing tutorials I mean there's some really gorgeous pictures in this Oops, 
beautiful peachy there at the back. Yep, so that's that one. I got this book for an absolute bargain. It was only a couple of pound and then a couple of pound postage. So it's the Acrylic Artist Guide to Exceptional Colour. There is a watercolour version of this one, but it's really, really expensive because it's out of print. And, and the author does actually sell a digital version on her website, but that's also really, really expensive. So the watercolour one is listed on Amazon, but they're just second-hand copies by marketplace sellers and the cheapest one is £115 so <laughs> I won't be buying one of those but it also said in the description that the book was previ previously published as the Encyclopedia of Colour for Water Artists so it's basically exactly the same book it was published earlier it just it's just got a different basically got a different cover so when i searched i found that this one was on sale and i got this for 13 pound and i honestly can't remember if it was a second hand copy but if it is it's absolutely in perfect condition and it looks brand new so so the thing about this book is it's all about pigments. It's got a lot of information about different kinds of pigments. A lot of watercolour books just have basic pigment information, but this goes into a lot of detail about where all the pigments come from and the characteristics of different pigments. And it's quite in depth. So that's why I wanted that one. It also goes into details about different um, colour palettes, like an Agulous colour palette, complementary, split complement, and all the other different types of colour palettes that you can pick. So I really wanted a copy, so I'm delighted I got that. Um, I don't think it's like any other watercolour book that I've got. And then I got the acrylic version simply because it was so cheap. So that's the acrylic version and of course it goes into pigment information in this one as well but that's all to do with acrylics so that's everything for this whole video i hope you've enjoyed it all the links are below and thanks very much for watching